And we've moved inside because we don't want a line forming outside. We asked, <laughs> what seems like an appropriate question for a Friday? How much do you really know about the beer that you drink? Can you, for example, assess the quality or do a sensory analysis? Well, our guest today certainly can. He's what's called a beer cicerone. Think a sommelier, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to wine. Cicerone, when it comes to beer. Rich yeah. Higgins, one of just 18 people in the world with this title. And he's in town to conduct a beer school at Belmont Station coming up tomorrow. But we're going to get our own little course here. Go. Let's start, Rich, with what you call this deductive tasting method. Sure, here. yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. So beer has tons and tons of uh, interesting flavors, interesting aromas. So these are things that you want to be able to really appreciate. And so rather than just taking a big gulp of beer, sure. you want to be able to assess it if you want to figure out how it was You've seen him drink that. Yeah, you've exactly. exactly. seen yeah. the gulper. Right. Yeah, you need to slow down a little bit from, from time to time. So it helps to assess what the beer looks like, yeah. look at its color, look at its clarity, that you can take a smell. Yeah. What would you describe that color as? Yeah, what so, are you looking for? So this is a pale gold color. Okay. So uh, basically, yeah, this color means that there hasn't been a lot of toasted malt or roasted malt that yeah. has been added to the beer. And so I know that the beer is not going to taste toasty or roasted right, just right. by looking at it. Yeah. So I know how the brewer, some of the ingredients that the brewer added. Then you can take a smell. It smells delicious to me. It smells yeah. malty, it smells bready. I smell a little bit of European hops. So yep. hops smell different based on where they're European, where they're grown. European hops. That's right. Yeah. That's so this knows, is right. This is a, a German style beer. This is German style Pilsner. Okay. And uh, I poured two different versions of it here because one of the things that I'm doing at the event uh, tomorrow at Belmont Station is an off flavors examination, oh, off yeah. flavors seminar. So what I do is I take these little pills. I have these special uh, off flavors pills that are naturally occurring flavors that that can occur in beer when it's mishandled. So if the beer is stored warm or if the beer is uh, too old or something like that, yeah. beer naturally develops flavors that aren't always so pleasant. So the one I've added right now, this is called leathery. So if you ever <laughs> enjoy a, an aged wine, it might taste a little bit of leather yeah. uh, note to it. And so this beer now has a little bit of leather. It's the Do exact you want same it to beer. Have leather? No, it's not really oh, a good thing. Okay, but, I didn't right, think right, so. But if you <laughs> tastes like a shoe. If you smell this beer here, go yeah. ahead and take a smell. So it smells like a good beer. So right? you're using yeah. that to uh, now smell uh, this. It's a totally oh different smell. Oh my gosh, that I would smells, never drink that. Well, you've got a good palate then. So yeah. this is stale beer, and a lot of the time when you get imported beers, they're not always so fresh. And so it's oh, nice geez. to know exactly the difference. The only difference between those two glasses is this flavor I added, and it naturally occurs in aged beer. And this is to teach folks at, at uh, the event tomorrow of what, what to look out for. Exactly. How to yeah. sense it. The yeah. leather. Yeah, exactly. What'd you bring us wow. here? So this is a delicious Weiss beer. It's a German style Weiss beer and it pairs deliciously with some of the foods I brought as well. So this is a uh, beer from Ondex Brewery. This is a yeah, monastery that's... brewery in southern Bavaria up in the mountains and they brew incredibly delicious beers. Oh look how he pours it. I was just going to say that's how right you pour when you're one of so many. <laughs> is that what you're supposed to do? So take a smell. Mm. So it smells like bananas. It smells right. like clothes. I feel like Very everybody aromatic. at home saying, "Just take a drink." <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We have another hour to get uh, oh, through. Oh yeah, That's <laughs> not wonderful. against it. Wow. So and it pairs deliciously with these foods yeah. here. So we got a couple different types of cheeses from Tillamook. We also have Olympic provisions, Finocchio yeah. and uh, salumi. Absolutely delicious. And these trips that I take to uh, Belgium and Germany, um, we actually visit these breweries. So this is in Bamberg, yeah. Germany. This is in Ondex, Germany. So it's a way to really immerse yourself in the in the local drinking yeah. cultures. Real quick question: yeah. Oregon's beer. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, love it, right? Yeah, there's a reason I come to Portland a couple times go. a year. There. No leather so there. <laughs> so the class tomorrow is at Belmont Station, as we mentioned, from 1 to 6. That's at 4500 Southeast Stark. More information at belmont-station.com. Our guest has been Master Cicerone, yeah. Rich Higgins. I hope I said that you right. You did perfectly. Okay. Thanks, Kat. Thanks for being here. Of course.